All right, let's take a look at my background scene creator Christmas edition. And I have this in my creative market shop, creativemarket.com slash Sarah Design, and on Etsy at sarahdesign.etsy.com. So if I click in here, you can see we can go through the screens because there's lots of cool stuff in here. Um, if we go to screen two, I talk about how if you are a Photoshop user, you're going to get the ultimate control with this file because you get this background scene creator, which has the floor and it has the wall behind. And then you just insert your images into those spots. And I can demo for you how that works. But you can basically go to a stock photo site or go take some of your own photos of like a wood floor, paste that in there or some sort of a background or a room and paste that in the wall and it gets kind of fuzzy, like it's off in the distance. And then the item that you place in front is the in focus piece. In this next screen, I talk about how um, <clears throat> you can make mock-ups with this in other programs besides Photoshop because I've also included ready-made background scenes. So the Photoshop users can make any scene they want, plus they get all of these background scenes that are Christmas themed. Um, for the folks that don't use Photoshop, you can just use the background um, pictures themselves. Plus I've included this red Christmas bulb or um, Christmas decoration as a PNG file and a Photoshop file. So you can stick that into your scene as well. All you need is a picture of your product too. So that's the part that you provide. The background and the decoration are already included. Very easy to just layer in to your graphics program. And this screen talks about that. You know, if you're not using Photoshop, you're grabbing these images, you're grabbing a mock-up of a drinkware that you want to put into the scene and then you can add the ornament. Here's a little peek at what the scenes look like that are included. There are eight of them. They're 2000 by 2000 pixels, 72 DPI. I don't really see a reason to give you 5000 pixel wide images at 300 DPI because those are enormous. And yes, that means then you could go and use them for print. But I think most of us are using this for our online shops. And, um, <clears throat> You know, there's no need to bog down your computer with enormous files. So even 2000 by 2000 is still pretty large. And some of my um, glassware, if you drag it into the scene, might be kind of small in there. So all you have to do is crop around or reduce the size of the background to fit. But most of the newer ones that I've created, like the mugs, will come in fairly large into this 2000 by 2000 pixel space. So you get these eight images with have Christmas trees and Christmas lights and stockings and things behind them. And then these top three on the right also come with a darker wood version. Then I included um, as a bonus my backgrounds neutral edition, um, basically styled stock photo bundle, which I'm also going to be releasing later on its own. But right now you can only get it inside of this bundle. And it includes the same kind of things, except it doesn't have that Photoshop file. So it has these five images, and then these top three also come in a dark wood version. So you just drop this into your graphics program and add your designed uh, product on top, and then you're done. So here's the background file. Um, you have the wall and you have the floor. So if you want to paste something into the background of the wall, for example, just double click it, opens up a new PSB tab. Then you go over and you grab one of your background images and drag it in. You might need to zoom out. This is going to be all fuzzy in the final anyway, so don't worry about making your image larger to fit. That's totally fine to do. And then you hit save and go back and see how it looks. Looks great. And then we'll go in and we'll do the floor. Hit 
save and go back and your scene is done and it is as easy as that. Then all you have to do is save it out to your desktop or wherever you want to save it. I suggest as a PNG file and you will be good to go. I hope you enjoy this new product.